It seems like the only pie that we all want in East London is pie and mash. I personally am not from East London. I'm from Yorkshire originally. I don't even like pie and I don't even like potatoes. So I won't be eating any of that. But anyway, that's not the point. What I'm saying is pie capital really, really, really are shooting themselves in the foot. Okay, they want to take over West Ham, but it just shows that all that glitters is not gold. And that we have every single right to be sceptical about them. They've been on TalkSport and all this publicity and talking about what they want for the club is really, really going to be their downfall. Over the last two weeks, Pi Capital has issued statements about their intentions to launch a second bid in order to buy West Ham United Football Club. Um, this whole project is led by Philip Beard, who used to be the CEO at QPR, and also by an Azerbaijani businessman called Nazib Piriev. Um, both have said that they want to re vitalize and rejuvenate the area around the stadium and everything that they do talk about isn't based around the club itself it's about the stadium and the surrounding area um the first major concern i have is that they all ways talk about what they want to do for the stadium but not what they want to do for taking the club forward as such and to me it sounds like piriev in particular wants to buy fans into the club and I'm going to start by talking about him because he was interviewed on the West Hamway podcast. One, it wasn't really a public podcast. You have to pay £5 a month for it and it's for private listeners. So it wasn't really the best platform to do it on. And two, he did say some things that West Ham fans would beg to differ about. Especially what the fact that he called West Ham United West Ham FC... And that he did make some comments about fans not filling up the bowling ground. I've actually got part of the statement with me and I'm going to read it and then talk about it in a bit more detail. Just to give you an idea of what he said. The club cannot rely on its traditional fan base to fill a stadium capacity of 66,000 when it barely filled a 35,000 seater venue in previous years. The club needs to appeal to a new audience. And what better opportunity could there be than the fantastically diverse, young, multicultural families who are moving into the housing developments on and around the park? The amazing work that the London Legacy Development Corporation team has been doing at the Olympic Park is a fantastic opportunity for the club to develop. It seems to me that Piriev is claiming to be a West Ham fan when really he's not, because if he was a West Ham fan, he would have known about the bowling ground. I used to watch West Ham games all the time and every time I saw West Ham at the bowling ground that place was fully packed and the atmosphere alone is what made that place special. The Olympic Stadium, the, well the bowl as West Ham fans call it, is packed usually. I don't know what it means about empty seats. I don't ever see empty seats. Was he watching like a League Cup game against Macclesfield or some lower league team or something? It's not empty. At all. That doesn't make sense at all. And... It seems like he wants to buy fans into the West Ham community. And you can't do that. You can't buy fans into a football club. You support the club because of your own choice. He just wants to get families to move into the area and then convince them to support West Ham to generate a profit. So that's uh, lining his pockets using other people rather than um, building from what already is at the club. Not only that, but Piriev's a bit of a suspicious character because I know that his father was investigated for corruption and his father, by the way, does own a lot of oil refineries in Central Asia and Piriev himself has been in trouble with the police in his home country. Um, he didn't really give a very convincing interview to the West Hamway podcast and I have to say that I have a lot more questions than answers about this whole thing, as do many other fans. I want to know what the true intentions are and why they haven't been fully released. They're saying they can't fully release it until they get a formal bid in and can do it later down the line. But I'm not convinced right now. And a lot of work will need to be done to actually convince me that they are the real deal. Because right now, they don't seem any better than Gold, Sullivan and Brady. Philip Beard, who I mentioned earlier in this video, spoke to TalkSport. 
And TalkSport is not exactly the best place for West Ham fans to go on. Not at least because Jim White and David Sullivan are best friends. And Jim White always seems to prop up Sullivan. Although White did report that Sullivan and the club were subject to a takeover bid. So that was quite a big moment, I suppose, in all of this. But anyhow, Beard has spoken to TalkSport. Every single thing was wrong about this interview. Not at least because Beard seemed more obsessed with talking about what's going on in Haiti and Afghanistan at certain moments and just changing the subject. Didn't really say what his plans were to change the infrastructure of the club, but just talked more about the funding and the bidding and just redeveloping the stadium and stuff like that. Everything that Beard talks about is about the stadium. It's not about the um, it's not about the club as such. It's more about you know dodging questions is what he did. I think just dodged loads of questions. Simon Jordan did really well in this interview to ask the questions that he did and to really try and get good answers out of Beard. But Beard just remained quite defiant and didn't really answer them properly. It's like he was trying to dodge away from what Jordan was saying. And you could argue Simon Jordan's not been a great owner because Crystal Palace has been administration in the past, but that's not the point. He, he wanted to get some of the best things out of Beard and get the good answers. A long-term plan is needed here at West Ham and a long-term vision from owners that can really plan for the future. And we need the right owners. We need the right people in this club. People who can take West Ham forward, who do have good intentions for the club. Beard's intentions remain unclear, and some of the people he's got on board aren't exactly the best of characters. Um, if it weren't for David Moyes, you have to remember, if it weren't for David Moyes, West Ham would probably be in the championship right now. David Moyes is the real saving grace of this club. It's not the owners. West Ham are successful despite the owners, not because of the owners. You have to take that into account as well. Um... Pi needs to understand that it's got to compete with other clubs at the top as the current ownership initially promised when we first moved to the Olympic Stadium. Pi needs to show a lot more ambition through its actions. The actions speak louder than words. They need to start showing it. They need to put this second bid in, then come through with what they're saying. Because right now, I'm not fully convinced, but, um, you know, anything can change. And if they can prove that West Ham is indeed the club that they want to buy and redevelop into something that can compete with the likes of Leicester and Manchester City, so be it. But they have to show it. They really do. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Wheel and Deal regarding the takeover news. If you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Oh, and by the way, the most people who are watching these videos ain't even subscribed to my channel. So please subscribe. Okay, don't, don't just go off into the air, because you're really missing out if you don't subscribe to my channel. You really, really are. But if there are any more updates on all of this whole takeover and transfer fiasco, la -di da I will be giving updates on this channel. So you can expect some more videos in the future. I'm sure this isn't the last time we hear about Pi. But thank you very much for watching this. Take care. I'll see you all soon. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe.